So if you've tested your brakes and you believe that there could be a problem with the brakes, so adjusting them has not worked or there's a big difference between the upper and the lower brake, this video is going to explain how to service the lower brake, which is very easy and it's also much, much more likely that the lower brake has a problem than the upper brake. So servicing the lower brake area. If you've got carpet feet on, take them off already. And then you need to get your tripod into a position where you can work on this, the leg that you want to service. So you maybe want to put it flat upside down like that. You need to be able to operate the brakes. Now, what we're going to do is remove the lower section and then we're going to remove this end cap assembly from the middle section and from there we can service all the brake parts. So I'm going to start by taking the foot moulding off. So you need a screwdriver with a Torx 20 bit or a Torx 20 screwdriver. Just take the screw out and then you should be able to pull this off. If you can't pull it off, it's got a little bit jammed, you can give it a gentle knock on here with, an, with a nylon mallet, but it should come out fairly easily. Then we're going to take these two screws here, it's very important, just these two screws here, we're going to take them out and that will allow us to withdraw this end cap assembly here. So again, same screwdriver. And then we can withdraw, release the brake, and then we can withdraw the lower leg section and this end cap assembly in one go. And it should pull straight out like that. At this point, we're going to inspect these components. So inside here is the lower brake shoe and on this component here there are two fixed pads. If there are damage to any of these bits it's worth replacing them. So here's an example of an end cap assembly where one of the brake pads has come off in this moulding here. That can sometimes happen after a period of time. And these are the lower brake shoe. Over time, and with, especially with higher temperatures and pressures, this lower brake pad can become distorted and squashed. It should be a perfect square like this new one here. If it's, not, if it's no longer a perfect square, then this should be replaced. And obviously, if any or all of the pad has come unglued, then it should be replaced as well. To replace the lower brake pad, you simply need to reach inside, grab hold of it, and pull it straight out. You get your new component and on the top of the brake pad there's a small feature here which must locate above um, the feature on the brake lever inside. You have this brake mechanism here, this is the lower brake mechanism and what we're looking to do is to make sure that this little ledge on the lower brake shoe locates above this part of the brake lever. It just clips on, it's very easy, but it's important to get that in the right place on there. And take your new end cap assembly. Note there's a, ru there's a red uh, rubber molding in here, which um, is an end stop molding. These can get damaged as well over a period of time. So here's one which has been damaged with use. That's what a new one should look like. So 
it can be a good idea to replace this whole component here. When you replace this assembly, make sure that the little red bump stop doesn't fall out. If it does, you can easily put it back in again, but you just need to make sure it's in place when you slide this in here. At this point, I usually, once it's slid in, I put the brake back on, and then I'm going to put these screws back in. Now, these screws are designed to make a thread in the plastic component inside there. So it's always worth trying to find the start of the thread just by starting it off with your fingers. And the same with this one. If it's a new component, it won't have a thread in already, but if you're replacing the old one, it'll be there. And then with your Torx screwdriver, you're just going to do them up. Now, if you're lucky enough to have a Torx screwdriver like this, you can set the torque to two Newton meters, put the bit inside there, and you know that's done up to exactly the right torque. If you don't have one of those, it's okay. You can do it by hand. You just need to feel carefully as it goes in. When the screw is fully home, you'll feel the point where the torque increases sharply there and then you just give it a little nip like that so you're not applying a lot of force just a, just a gentle nip up to make sure that it's fully home and return the foot same process with that screw find the thread, the screw will drop slightly when it's found the thread. Do it up and then just a gentle nip at the end like that. Apply the brake again. Now you may find, like this one, that the lower section now is a little bit sticky and that is because this leg had been adjusted to accommodate um, the initial wear. So what you'll want to do at this point is release some of the adjustment on that leg. With a two and a half millimeter Allen key, you can just go in and wind maybe 10 or 20 turns off there. Break feels better. It's now deploying properly and you could retest the brakes and adjust again if necessary. <laughs>